Hello, I'm Donnie McGowan. Today, I want to tell you about my friend Gary. Gary's one of the nicest men I've ever met. He's honest, he's hardworking, and he has a huge, huge heart. Now, Gary's been a smoker since he was about 12. He's 52 now, so that's 40 years of smoking. I've known Gary for eight years, and the entire time he's tried to quit smoking. He's tried everything, the patch, pills, herbs, white knuckling, you name it, he's tried it. You name it, it's failed. This time when he decided to quit, I thought I'd help him out with something different. We're making a video of him every day so he can see his progress, how hard it is, and give him some inspiration to keep stopping. I hope you enjoy these. Aloha. This is my second day without a cigarette. And I feel like I'm going absolutely nuts. I'm coughing more now than I have now. <laughs> I physically feel weak and shaky. And mentally, I want a cigarette so bad. The other day, I, I should say, a week ago, I had gone through the paper and uh, these articles are jumping out at me all at once. And it's like, John so-and-so, 52, we're having a celebration of life, died suddenly of a stroke. No matter how healthy I feel at times, I'm just scared to death that I'm just gonna be working and I do a lot of physical work. When I get pains in my chest, I don't know if it's indigestion or my heart's doing something. So that's, well, I'm doing everything I can not to smoke. For the second day, this has been much worse than yesterday, and uh, I just don't know how long I can take this. I don't know if I'm gonna make this or not. I wanted to go up and get some smokes today. I had to go to the store, and I actually, I got inside the van, and I was gonna go, and then it's just like, Surprisingly, my will to quit is being str is overpowering the will to smoke. I know I can't smoke because it's killing me, and it's just it's driving me nuts. I'm ashamed of this because it's like I'm having friends say, "Just go out and have one cigarette and throw the pack out. You'll get by. That will help you." And I've been seriously considering having one smoke and just soaking the pack. But I know that would put me all the way back to square one. And I don't think I can go through this again. You know, I used to be a long distance runner. And I actually, I still remember the runner's high. And I want to run again. I want to be able to be active again. I went dancing with my girlfriend a while ago, and I could only do two dances because I was so out of breath. And that was disappointing to her, and much more than me. And I, I want to. I want to be able to do things again and enjoy it. I'm actually beginning to get tired, which is good. I, I was up, I'm not sleeping well at all. 
worst thing you do when you lay in bed is you want bed. So you, there's nothing to do. And after I say my prayers, when I get in bed and all ready to go, it's like I have little dancing cigarettes in my head. <laughs> it's just really frustrating. I am praying that I get through day two. It's only five o'clock. And the temptation to smoke is so strong right now. So I'm just praying that I can make it through today and not have a day of three of being smoke free. Everyone tells you if you get three days in, you have a beat. Well, this is day three. I'm feeling a little bit more positive today about not having a cigarette and less anxious. Still have the, still have the shakes and very nervous, anxious. But I'm beginning to feel more positive, like I don't really have to stand a chance at this, not smoking. Right now, I'm just using all my willpower not to have smoke. And when I first started smoking, I never thought it would be so difficult to quit. I always had the feeling that I could stop at any time. As a reward for not smoking for the day, and I, tonight I plan to go out to dinner if I could get through without smoking the entire day. Hey kids, I love you.